So you have really bad pain in your knees and you've tried everything to treat them, but nothing is getting you relief. You've heard of a lot of success stories with regenerative medicine treatments, such as PRP injections and stem cell therapy. But you're wondering, are these stories too good to be true? Do people really feel better? And who can you trust to learn more about these treatments? Well, you're in the right place because we're going to go through the most up-to-date clinical trial data. And these studies will tell us whether PRP injections and stem cell therapy actually work. They will hopefully help you decide which treatments may or may not be worth pursuing. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. Now, if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, my goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's talk about PRP versus stem cell therapy for knee arthritis. Both PRP and stem cells fall under the big umbrella category of treatments called regenerative medicine or orthobiologics. These are very new techniques with the goal of using your own body cells to help relieve pain and inflammation. Both PRP and stem cells contain an enormous amount of growth factors. They initiate cascades which are responsible for tissue healing, tissue remodeling, tissue proliferation, and in controlling pain and inflammation. But more specific to osteoarthritis, they are incredibly important in altering the biochemistry of a knee suffering from arthritis. And that's because arthritis causes a very toxic environment in the knee. It's incredibly inflammatory, and all of this leads to pain and disability. So the goal of biochemistry Biologic treatments such as PRP and stem cells is to use your own cells to reset the environment in the knee to create and maintain a healthy and neutral environment. Our hypothesis is that these cells will not only reduce symptoms, but they can also decrease the progression of arthritis. So let's talk about stem cells first. What are they? When most people talk about stem cells, they are thinking of pluripotent stem cells. These are cells that can divide and grow into pretty much anything. Think of embryos that are just starting to grow and create new organs. They are incredibly versatile and can potentially regenerate or repair diseased tissues and organs. But when we talk about stem cell procedures or stem cell injections, we are actually using and referring to another type of stem cell, not the pluripotent stem cells. Instead, we are using a special type of adult stem cell called the mesenchymal stem cell. These cells have limited capacity when compared to pluripotent stem cells, but they still have tremendous ability to reduce pain and symptoms. So the two most common places to get mesenchymal stem cells are either from adipose or fat tissue or or from the bone marrow. And it's important to point out that once we isolate the mesenchymal stem cells and then inject them, there's no current evidence to suggest that we are regrowing or regenerating anything. Remember, these cells are not pluripotent. You don't get a new knee after stem cell injections. So you may ask, what's the point then? Well, mesenchymal stem cells are incredibly strong signaling cells. They initiate cascades in the body that provide all sorts of health benefits, but most important among them are reducing pain and reducing inflammation. And how does that compare to what PRP does? PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. In PRP, we draw your blood into a specialized tube, put it in a centrifuge, and then separate out your platelets and all the growth factors that circulate in your blood. We then take that out and then eject it into your knee. Again, we are not growing or regenerating anything, but we are using the cells that initiate incredibly strong cascades in the body to provide pain relief and reduce inflammation. Our current understanding of mesenchymal stem cell injections and PRP injections is that they initiate similar pathways to help improve symptoms. The question then becomes, do they work? and which one is better? Let's tackle the first question. Do they work in treating knee arthritis? So this study looked at people with knee arthritis who were treated with adipose-derived mesenchymal stem cells, so adult stem cells from fat tissue, and published their results at two years follow-up. In terms of pain, the researchers found that there were significant improvements at six months. At 12 months, pain was slightly worse than six months, but still better than before treatment was started. At 24 months, pain was essentially back to the pre treatment baseline. 
In terms of function, the researchers found gradual improvements at 6 months, 12 months, and then a plateau effect at 24 months. These results included people with mild, moderate, and severe arthritis. Now, I think it's important to point this out because our current medical thinking is that once you reach grade 4 or bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, there's almost nothing we can do except for a knee replacement surgery. In this study, people with severe arthritis definitely had improvements from their baseline, just not as much as those with mild arthritis. So what about mesenchymal stem cells obtained from bone marrow, and how do they compare to the ones from adipose tissue? So this study was a systematic review and meta-analysis looking at 19 studies and compared those who got mesenchymal stem cell injections from bone marrow and from adipose tissue. They found that both groups had significant improvements in pain and function for the treatment of knee arthritis. More interestingly, they found that the patients who got bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell injections had significantly better outcomes compared to people who got adipose-derived mesenchymal stem cells. So from these studies, we know both types of mesenchymal stem cell injections are effective at treating symptoms related to knee arthritis, and it seems that bone marrow may be better than adipose tissue. Now what about PRP? Platelet-rich plasma injections have also been shown to be incredibly effective at treating symptoms related to knee arthritis. I made an entire video discussing PRP injections, which I will link here, so please check that out if you are interested. But here is one of the most recent studies looking at the use of PRP injections to treat knee arthritis. It's a systematic review and meta-analysis looking at 40 different studies comparing PRP to hyaluronic acid, corticosteroids, and placebo injections. They found that at six months, PRP was as effective and in some studies more effective than other therapies regarding pain, function, and stiffness. So all of these studies add to the growing body of literature which supports the use of orthobiologics to help treat and relieve symptoms related to arthritis. But which ones are better? So the next question we want to ask is, are there any studies that directly compare mesenchymal stem cell injections to PRP injections? And the answer is yes. This study was published very recently and is a two-year outcome study comparing bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells to PRP treatment. Patients with knee arthritis were randomized to get either one bone marrow injection or one PRP injection. And they found that both groups had significant improvements in both pain and function at three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, and 24 months. But what they found was there was no difference. There was no difference between PRP and bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell at any time point. The researchers go on to conclude that for the treatment of osteoarthritis, PRP and bone marrow concentrate performed similarly out to 24 months. Bone marrow was not superior to PRP. So from these studies, we can conclude the following. Both stem cell injections and PRP injections work similarly well for the treatment of knee arthritis. Again, we think they work by treating and changing the biochemistry inside a knee with arthritis. The hypothesis was that stem cells would provide a greater effect than PRP. But at this point in time, that hypothesis has not been proven to be correct. Both PRP and stem cells are equally effective. But here's the thing. Let's talk about cost. Both of these treatments are not covered by insurance and they are cash pay. However, stem cell injections can cost thousands and even tens of thousands of dollars. PRP is significantly cheaper in the hundreds of dollars. And until clinical trials start to show otherwise, when we do a cost benefit analysis, PRP is the clear and easy winner. Hopefully that provided a good summary of PRP versus stem cell therapy for the treatment of knee arthritis. My channel has an entire playlist going over PRP and orthobiologics, so check that out if you are interested in more content. And lastly, everyone who has knee arthritis really should take a multimodal approach to treating their knees. So check out this video next, where I go through all the treatment modalities that I recommend most. Thanks for watching.